This example is how to set up a Juniper device from scratch. I'm using a vSRX firewall, but this process is the same with any Juniper device. I will get you from power on to your first commit. I'm assuming that you already have a connection to the router or switch or firewall using a console cable and terminal or terminal emulator using Hyperterm if you're a masochist or a putty or a MOBA Xterm is another good one. And I'll spare you the boot messages. This box has not been configured at all. The way we know that is we see the word amnesiac. All Juniper devices that are fresh from the box will say amnesiac. As a login, we type root. There is no password to log into a fresh box. We will first hit enter a few times. You can see that we're in a strange command prompt. Your normal Junos commands will not work here. Junos is based on a FreeBSD Unix operating system. So those of you familiar with Unix or Linux will be able to poke around here a bit. The reason that we started in this Unix shell is because we logged in as root. So as soon as we can, we should set up an alternate super user account, such as admin. We first type CLI, which stands for command line interface. We then type edit. The first thing we want to do is configure a root password. Set system root authentication plain text password. I will type my password twice. Then we'll set up a host name. Set system host name YouTube firewall. Then we want to create a new user called admin that will serve as our super user since we do not want to use root. Set system login user admin class super user. We'll give that user a user ID. This is optional, but if you want to be in control of the UID values, you can use a range from 100 to 64,000. We'll do an up arrow and create UID 100. Then we'll give admin a password. Up arrow again and create a plain text password. Remember that this is not a Cisco device. None of these commands we have entered have actually changed the configuration, only the candidate configuration. So we should review what we're about to change with show pipe compare. Anything with a plus will be added. Now we can commit our changes, exit, and try to log in using our new admin username. You'll notice that when we log in using admin, we no longer get placed in the Unix shell prompt, which is what we want. The Unix shell does have its uses, but I will show that in another video. So we have successfully performed an initial configuration on a Juniper device and are now ready to perform network configurations using Junos commands. I will place the commands used in this video in the description.